Good morning! Today we have just been working from home. I really need to catch up on editing and articles and all sorts of stuff, so I'm gonna have a day of that. We just received our lunch! Oh, this sweet potato looks so good! Look at that. All the best things. Sweet potato, fish, egg. Oh, this is like a little egg salad. Brown rice. This is some rice flour fried chicken, some miso soup. This is my favorite cafe to order bento boxes from. It's called Flux Cafe in Tokyo, and it is delicious. Hmm. I love this little egg. It's got some quinoa in it. We didn't have that last time, and some leeks and stuff. It's moving day again. We are just packing up our final things, getting our last Flux Cafe lunch. It should be delivered any minute. And then we're heading to our new, BM, new Airbnb. New Airbnb. Uh, so we actually were planning on leaving Japan today. We planned this trip for the Chinese New Year holiday. And uh, that's because Tom's sister was going to visit a little bit later this year. She was going to come after. But now she's not. And we've decided to extend our stay in Japan. So we weren't able to extend this place. Although we would have loved to. Because we really enjoyed this whole apartment. The look of it. Everything was perfect. We loved the area. But yeah, sadly we are leaving this one. But I'm also looking forward to seeing what the next one offers this is we're, we're sort of doing this tokyo airbnb tour we have four places in total so there's a lot of packing up and moving but it's really fun to be in a new space you feel a whole different kind of inspiration you get to explore the areas and the food and it's just been really fun japan airbnb house tour number three so we're in a very quiet area called setagaya sendengaya setagaya setagaya tosh something toshido setagaya so this is a very um big size family home uh, we were kind of running out of options on what to choose for this week because everything was really booked and we decided to stay longer last minute but I found this one and it's very different from the other two so let's have a look this is bedroom number one got a little closet bedroom number two a closet and they have a little shower in the corner this is a toilet so you probably noticed the trend, Japanese toilets are almost always separate from showers or baths so you don't get anything dirty or... I don't know, I really like it because someone can use different things at the same time instead of someone taking a shower. It's, it's good for couples. White kitchen, just the very basic necessities. What the hell is that doing here? So if you come through here, there is a gorgeous living room, we've got a TV, there's this tatami area and then a really nice kitchen, big dining table, um, stove, a griller for the fish, a really big fridge Welcome butter! A welcome butter! I've never seen a welcome butter before! What a nice gesture, she also even gave us a little bowl of bread and cup noodles and different snacks Almonds, water. There's a nice little terrace out here. Start here. Oh, another shower room with a bathtub. Wow, super nice. Look, guys, they have Netflix too. Yeah. Oh, this one, my favorite. We just watched this two nights ago. It's so good. Daikin Yama. We have just come out to grab some lunch and I was exploring this area the other day with my friend Danny from Singapore because she was visiting and we discovered this new building. It's not that new but it was new to me called Kashiyama and it is such a gorgeous building. They have a really nice cafe in the basement and then they have a shop and then they have a restaurant and then a bar at the top. So pretty. So I we decided to come back and I really want to show Tom so we're going to go to their cafe for lunch and Maybe do a bit of shopping. My goal today is to get some running shoes. Okay, back on. Yeah, everything here is cute. Do your I love this time. area. Yeah. There's an 
exhibition going on. It's just like a quiet little room lit with my favorite interior colors and sunlight and plants. Really? Mm. Let me try. The tomato is so perfect and crispy, and then the cheese is like soft and melty, and the tomato has a bit of salt, and then the strawberries are sweet. There's so many flavors and textures, but that is the most perfect cheese I've ever had. I've got black pepper. Oh my God. Okay, this looks quite unimpressive and plain, but each vegetable is literally perfection. Like each one is like picked. The onions are marinated. I don't know what this is. It tastes like an artichoke, but something pretty different. The herbs, like each piece is just perfectly marinated and tastes so good. I need like five times this amount. The portion sizes are really small. There's some protein or something on top, but other than that, it is delicious. Whoa. So nice. Oh, it's still hot. It oh, looks it's so good. So, so fluffy. fluffy. Yeah. And the cheese is so rich. I lift it like you so dry. Oh, so it's slightly bitter to offset the really sweet, rich yeah. cheese. It matches so well. I never thought of putting yuzu in cheesecake. One. <laughs> I couldn't leave without having this for myself. Just a couple bites wasn't enough. So I ordered one too. Just look at the. Just cut it, babe. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> it looks it look so disgusting, babe. <laughs> I thought it looked good. Ew, it's like popping a pimple. Oh, but some people are into that. Those, pe those people will like it. <laughs> In Japan, they always carefully wrap your embarrassing items. So, like, if you buy pads, no, then no. they <laughs> then they will wrap it in a paper bag before putting it in a plastic. If you have that breathing problem. This is not shameful. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. No, so you can see there's something hidden in a paper bag. Those are the shameful items that I bought. Constipation. <laughs> Constipation pills. <laughs> Whenever I travel, it's like impossible. I need my own toilet. Just like I need my own bed to sleep. I'm like, I'm really sensitive to everything. So I, this is my last resort now. was a success let me show you since we were only supposed to stay in tokyo for just over a week i didn't pack any workout clothes because i knew i would be quite busy and walking around a lot but now that we're staying longer i really miss working out or just running i need to like sweat and move more um because all i've been doing is eating and my shoes in hong kong actually have holes in both of the toes so it's about time i bought some and this was the perfect reason to. So I found these New Balance ones. I've actually never seen them before. We got them in Daikin Yama and they are super light. They're knitted, they're really comfy. It feels like nothing. It's like air. And then inside they have this memory foam. So they're really, really comfortable. So these are gonna be my shoes. But I still don't have workout clothes. I wanna just find basic leggings and I'll just wear like, the t-shirts I brought to sleep in, I think that should be good enough. And then we got a bunch of dog treats for Rosie. We always stack up on treats when we come back because they have really good like natural treats here. 
and then we got a bunch of baby stuff because all of our friends are having babies suddenly and then also for Reese, Carly's baby, they have the cutest stuff in Tokyo so we couldn't resist. So now I'm just gonna do a bit of editing. I also grabbed a couple of magazines from the Tsutaya and Daikanyama. It is the best bookstore. So many amazing books. But I just got the I just got the spring summer 2020 runway collection sort of summary from Vogue. I like to see what the trends are and all the different designs. And then I got Ginza, which is a Japanese fashion magazine. I'm gonna eat dinner. I am going to take a bath and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I am about to get ready for the day. We are gonna be doing a little Valentine's Day special today. We're gonna be eating a lot of chocolate basically. And I am wanting to get all dressed up for that. I wanna try my hair in a different style. I wanna do it curly today because I've never tried this sort of haircut in color in a really curly texture. I've only done wavy, C curls. Um, have I done straight? I feel like I haven't done straight. I, I basically just worn it in a ponytail. So today I want to try and look cute. Thing. What's that? Heart bangs. Ew. <laughs> I'll figure those out later after the makeup. But first, I want to eat breakfast. I want to eat my potato that I bought yesterday. It is this crazy luxurious potato. Let me redo the description they wrote. Okay, they don't look like anything special, but listen to how good this sounds. We used our own honey brand of sweet potatoes called Hinata Honey, which has 50 times the sweetness of normal sweet potatoes. They are grown in soil approved by the JAS, ripened slowly using a unique technique, and carefully baked over a long period of time. The sweetness of these baked sweet potatoes comes from maltose, which is half of the calories of normal sugar. It's perfect for those on a diet, rich in vitamin C, B2, and E, which are all great for preventing conditions like dry skin and catching colds. Mm. I look like a weirdo eating this sideways, but it's really hot in the middle and cool enough on the outside to eat, so I'm too hungry to care about looking like a psycho. All right, outfit is on. I got this really cute sweater from Zara. It has these little flower details on it. I've never worn this type of thing before, like a tucked in sweater vest. It looks very preppy. But I'm also wearing a blouse from Tote. I like the puffy sleeves on it. It goes really well with this because the openings of the arms are really big. And I like to add a little touch of the collar out this way. So I'm just gonna finish up my hair. My makeup is done. I need to figure out what to do with these bangs. My hair didn't turn out as curly as I was hoping it to because I only brought along with me a thicker curling iron. I wanted it to be tighter ringlets. I've been seeing a lot of models lately rocking really curly hair and it looks super cute and I really wanted to do something like that, but I'll have to save it to when I have a smaller curling iron. So for now, these are just I'm just letting these loosely fall out and I'm just gonna separate them with my fingers to give some more volume. All right, I'm all ready. So we're gonna be filming most of our chocolate eating adventures today on a main video. I will link it below, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me and just film little clips here and there, but I'm gonna sign off for now so I can start the intro of that video. <laughs> falling down a bit. Tom's um, track pants, my fleecy pajama shirt, and my other pajama shirt, and I'm making it happen.
are off to try the new rice burger from McDonald's. McDonald's recently tweeted it out saying they're having this new, it's, it's sort of like a rice, a stuck together rice patty instead of a bun. And when they tweeted it out, over 50,000 people liked it, almost 30,000 retweeted it. So people are very excited about this. It's launching at 5 p.m. So it's a nighttime menu thing. It's only for dinner. I'm not sure why, but that's what they're doing. And uh, they were mentioning that they want to try it out to use more local resources because Japan has a lot of rice and I guess not so much wheat flour. So instead of making buns all the time, they want to try these rice buns. They have three different offerings. One is teriyaki, one is a regular burger with bacon and cheese, and one is a fried chicken. This is what it looks like, the rice. This one doesn't actually exist. I've kind of made this hybrid one out of an egg I added to another thing Tom ordered. And he's gonna eat the burger, but oh, I should take a thumbnail with this one. Cause mine's false advertisement. The rice is really um, soft and chewy. It's not like crispy. I was expecting it to be crispy. It was quite tasteless. <laughs> Tastes like nothing. I need some sauce. I have a teriyaki sauce. Yeah, but I mean the rice tastes like nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the rice. It's it's uh, just like a plain, sticky, chewy rice. It's good. It's a good alternative. It's a lot messier though. <coughs> then you take grilled surface. More. It would be more. It would be it'll perfect be. if it's crispy a little bit. It's quite messy. It's, it's so messy. <laughs> It falls apart. I haven't had McDonald's for a long time. <clears throat> it's good. I, I like it. It's a good option. Maybe when we were walking back, it got a bit soggy. Wonder if you eat it right away is better. I don't know. No way. I didn't end this vlog properly, so I just want to pop in now to say bye to you guys. Thank you so much for spending the week with me. Basically, it was a week of eating. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the foods in Japan. And I actually made a list of all the things I tried recently that I've loved over on my website, Tote. So I will link that below if you're interested. And I will see you very soon with another video. I have a couple more coming from Japan, so the Japan videos are not over yet, although I am in, back in Hong Kong right now. But I think I have like two more. So yeah, I'll see you very soon with those. Bye.